Hello. In this presentation, we will give a general overview about one of the key product of the Turnkey project, uh, the multi-sensor unit and cloud-based earthquake information platform. The knowledge that has and, and the various methodologies that have been developed in the different web packages um, have been compiled and integrated into a platform that can facilitate earthquake forecasting and enable early warning and rapid response uh, action. So the platform can provide actionable output for authorities and assist them in different risk mitigation action before, during and after a damaging earthquake. And this is platform that has been designed to be based on a low cost multi sensor unit system. The project is using a participatory action research par methodology to guide the design, development and testing of the of the platform. Uh, PAR is a well established research methodology applied to socio technical system. Um, where context needs to be considered alongside scientific inquiry and the development of problem-solving technology. Um, regarding the, the platform development, we have uh, a testing and demonstration of the result. We have selected six earthquake-prone uh, area in Europe with different hazard vulnerability and exposure uh, characteristics. Um, so the first step in the development of the platform was um, uh, to identify the needs and expectation of potential uh, end users. This ensures that uh, the, the turnkey is not only technology led, but also user led, thus increase, incre uh, increasing the, the chances of take up of, of the solution as it is rolled out. So um, consulting the end user was planned uh, for three points in the project at the beginning, midway and at the end. Um, so th of course, uh, this research has allowed us to see uh, how and to what extent uh, the platform would fit into uh, end user current uh, protocols. Uh, this slide describes uh, the first cycle of uh, research carried out um, uh, with five end user categories first responders, civil protection municipalities, general business, and critical infrastructure in six countries Romania, Italy, Greece, Iceland, France, and Netherlands. Uh, this research has yielded uh, uh, actually to a wealth of data which was analyzed to draw out um, use case scenario that is needed. Uh, must have versus nice to have feature, uh, identify um, additional uh, suggestion and recommendation on what else Turnkey uh, may provide to meet the uh, existing uh, requirements. Also, um, uh, and user concern uh, about the platform and citizen uh, expectation. expectation. So for the system architect of the platform, um, as you can hear, it can access real time uh, field data through uh, integrated conventional seismological um, sensors network, strong motion network, structure monitoring system, but also uh, we are using the more innovative smartphone based and eyewitness observation. Uh, the system also includes scientific engine or software engines uh, with modules providing operational earthquake forecasting, uh, detecting earthquake early warning, and determining rapid response uh, to earthquake. Uh, and then uh, the communication with the cloud user graphical interface, uh, which is the managing and dispatching uh, engine providing uh, fast dispatching services, um, a full management a subsystem for control room and mobile app for rescuer. Um, so uh, the general feature of the user interface uh, uh, actually can be categorized into multi-tenant. It has multi-tenant, uh, 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 multi-organizational, uh, and multilingual, and it's web-based. Now, uh, going back to the to multi-sensor integration, so this slide uh, illustrates the integration of uh, the multi-sensors uh, that has been carried out for the for the Turkey project. Uh, as example, we have this figure uh, A, uh, which shows an example of cost-effective uh, double-frequency GNSS receiver that has been designed and developed during the project. Uh, they actually they continuously uh, acquire uh, GNSS observable 
and transmit them to a connected Raspberry Shake, which implement uh, a CAPS uh, server that also collects seismic data. All data are forwarded in real time uh, to the to the CAPS server of the Turnkey platform, where they are then uh, directly processed by the scientific engine. Um, the earthwork processing, uh, processing system of the Turnkey platform is uh, based on uh, uh, of the commonly used the Seismocom uh, P uh, framework. Uh, the acquisition, exchange, and archiving of the multi-sensor data is done by a uh, by a Gampa Caps module. It forms the connection between the Raspberry 4D units, the Turnkey platform, and the YET uh, processing server that we saw in the previous slides. Uh, rapid earthquake detection and early warning is performed by uh, Gampa modules, uh, Sunlock, uh, and a customized version of uh, Presto. Uh, with, with respect to the real-time exchange of earthquake information, uh, including a felt report, is provided by a, a quick link uh, app. Uh, it connects the EMSC app, uh, Uni Bergamon uh, Earthquake Networks, uh, and the platform. So um, the real-time earthquake uh, uh, engineering parameter calculation like uh, PGA, PGV, and, and uh, PGD, uh, and others used um, for uh, off-site or on-site early warning is handled by Seismocom uh, P, uh, PS uh, uh, Sotopic with customized plugin. Now for the for the scientific engine uh, for the OEF uh, early warning and rapid response, um, they all have three main protocols. The first protocol is related to uh, reading data, where we can categorize the data in the system into three groups: the static data, which are generally uh, predefined data uh, embedded in the system, uh, vulnerability, exposure, si uh, seismic hazard condition, site condition. Uh, the second, uh, uh, the, then we have uh, uh, the dynamic data from conventional sensor uh, and uh, from smartphone app, uh, which are coming in real time. Uh, the second protocol is related to the algorithm for the various uh, uh, analysis and computation that are done for the, for, uh, for the OEF and uh, uh, early warning and rapid response. And then we have uh, finally the final protocol uh, for functionality. And basically this is what uh, the engine uh, provides uh, as a result to be sent to end user uh, through, uh, through cloud. Now for the, for the end user uh, interface. So um, it is actually a desktop web application dedicated to uh, to the decision maker that allow to a comprehensive uh, cockpit allowing him to or her to have uh, all basic information uh, on the earthwork and also an analysis tool providing easy to understand information about earthquake the region the inf infrastructures and uh, and the exposure um, uh, everything and then also the possibility to trigger action, uh, manual action, communication, service uh, 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 invocation in relation to uh, the situation uh, or emergency uh, situation. Then also it's about sending communication both on traditional media and also a social one. Uh, here we are talking about uh, two ways communication. The other product that is um, uh, uh, provided in the end, uh, for the uh, for the user for the end user <coughs> are the turnkey app, uh, which are dedicated mostly to the rescuer or the first responder uh, in field uh, first responder. The app provide um, uh, mainly uh, three functionalities. Uh, uh, one is the basic information about the earthquake, a notification uh, of aftershock and safe check uh, for the rescuer and also it provides the decision maker with observation uh, that are managed by uh, by the end user uh, interface thank you very much